North Korea has said it cannot abandon its nuclear program, which it says is necessary as a deterrent to a U.S. threat. Han Tai Song, the country's ambassador to the United Nations, ruled out negotiations with America as long as joint U-South Korea military exercises continued. He said the country was ready for new sanctions and dismissed the possibility of North Korea being added to a list of countries that sponsor terrorism. Video Trump urges and Korea to make a deal My country will continue to build up its self-defense capability, the pivot of which is nuclear forces and capability for a triumphant strike as long as U.S. and hostile forces keep up nuclear threat and blackmail, he said. Our country plans ultimate completion of the nuclear force. He also criticized the country's sanctions, saying they were aimed at isolating and stifling it and to intentionally bring about humanitarian disaster instead of preventing weapons development as claimed by the U.S. Image the ambassador has ruled out negotiations but he struck a note of defiance, saying Pyongyang was ready for new economic actions against it. The ambassador was speaking at the North Korean mission in Geneva on Friday, as South Korea and the U.S. agreed in Seoul to keep cooperating towards a peaceful end to the crisis. A U.S. envoy said it was difficult to assess the intention of Pyongyang as there had been no signal. Video U.S. and S. Korea staged joint military drills Mr. Han took issue with the ongoing cooperation between the two allies, which he said used nuclear assets, aircraft carriers and strategic bombers in South Korea. As long as there is continuous hostile policy against my country by the U.S. and as long as there are continued war games at our doorstep then there will not be negotiations, he said. Some 28,500 American troops are stationed in North Korea, a legacy of the 1953 war.